So I want to talk next about something you've probably heard something about. You've probably heard a radio ad or seen a TV ad about companies out there that will sell your house for free. Uh, they'll do it for a 0% listing commission or um, you know, some sort of uh, flat reduced fee. Uh, and, and, I, and I want to talk about this because I think it matters as it relates to other purchases you make in your life. Um, you know, I, I'm a firm believer that you get what you pay for. Uh, and, and interestingly, um, you know, when you, when you look at uh, the real estate business model, uh, real estate agents have to pay to, to advertise it. They have a lot of costs sunk into getting exposure for your house, whether it's a team of people to, to service the leads that come in, whether it's the photography, whether it's the, uh, you know, the listing syndication on all the major websites, the Zillow, the Trulia, the Realtor.com, the social media involvement. Um, you know, there, a lot of times there's a catch. You know, I hear some of the commercials today where you hear the commercial and then you hear the, the guy talking right off the commercial, they're going like this and he says he's doing a bunch of million different things. Like that, that's something that me as a consumer, I'm, I'm suspicious about. It's like, what, what, you know, why do they have to go through that spiel and, and what is it that they're, that they're talking so fast that they're hiding? The, the reality is, is when you look at some of those models, um, they're getting paid somewhere um, or you're losing something somewhere. And, and so some of them out there are offering you a free uh, listing side commission as long as you follow, but you jump through a bunch of hoops. You use this specific mortgage company, you use this specific title company, the buyer uses this, the person does that, and or the real estate agent is giving up a large chunk of their commission. So some of these companies that are advertising out there, they're not the actual company that comes out and lists your house. You know, so, so you may hear a, a commercial that says, hey, 0%. Uh, commission that that guy that person isn't coming out listing your house it's some other third party company and and the whole deal is so that you know a mortgage can get done is the whole reason they're doing it the reality is, is that it takes years and years and years of experience to be a great listing agent a great negotiator great at advertising get maximum exposure for a house people to just show up overnight and start doing it for free uh, there's going to be things that are going to be missed for the consumer you're not going to get uh, some of the exposure points. You're not going to get the syndication. You're not going to get an expert negotiator. You're getting somebody who said, you know what, I'm going to do this for a discount or a break. And they may not be the most experienced because they, they had to kind of, you know, they had to take it, uh, a cut to get the deal done. The, the thing I always believe in is if you are hiring someone to sell your most expensive asset, you know, your house, right? There's not going to be anything more expensive that you're going to sell unless you're a business owner um, than your house. If if someone is willing to do it at such a cut, uh, are they really the right negotiator for you? If they can't negotiate their own fee, how can you be confident that they're going to be the best person to negotiate um, you know, the best sale price for your home? We see these companies come and go. Every time the market gets hot, you see a bunch of them flurry up when the market gets hot. And then guess what happens when the market shifts? They're gone. They're gone in an instant. And I will tell you this. I'll say honestly that I think some of these companies coming into our market right now that are coming in and doing the discount or zero percent so they can get money somewhere else, they missed the mark. They, they should have showed up a couple years ago. They, they, they got here too late. Uh, and now the market's going to be shifting. And, and you know, in a shifting market, sellers need to be concerned not just with can I get somebody to do it cheaper, but can I just get it done? C can I be certain that this company that's going to do it for a discount is going to be able to get my house sold? Um, and, and that's where certainty comes into play, and that's where people like us that will guarantee the sale, that will give you an instant cash offer, certainty becomes more important than, than, than price. And, and that's the market that we're in now. We're not in the, the market anymore where it's as hot as it was, where um, you know, you're know you going to see agents getting out of the business, and you're going to see sellers say, you know what, I'm not really looking to save a bunch of money on, on the fee. I, I just want to make sure my house actually gets sold. And we have the track record for that. There's some, these other companies; they don't have that track record. They're they're banking on a hot market. Their 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 toolbox doesn't uh, doesn't factor in and doesn't have the experience of when the market goes ups and downs like we have for 14 years. You know the 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 challenge is that if they're not uh, getting an income or revenue source, how how vested of an interest does that person have in selling your house? How hard are they going to work? That you know if they're not getting paid anything, why are they even doing it? Number two. Where's the money they have to spend on the advertising? You know, are they going to get the, the the maximum advertising exposure on Zillow and Truly and Realtor.com and radio and, and all these other places? Are they just focused on you know getting more brand impressions and getting more uh, you know more business more more home buyers and more home mortgages, or do they really have a vested interest in getting your home sold? And that's where I think it, it falls flat. And, and that's where I think you know if those companies would have showed up a couple of years ago when the market was in a different place probably better timing, but I think they're, you know, two years too late.
there's a uh, there's a lot of times more to it as well kind of like what you referenced earlier there was a company in Virginia um, and I won't say their name I think they're a national company and you guys have probably heard stories like this too where they advertise and market will list your house for you know no commission zero percent and then it's all an upsell from there well when yes. they meet with you it's like okay it's zero you're zero if we just do this but if you want this it's this and right. this and this and this and, this. and to get the most money in your pocket you're gonna need to pay those right fees. in this particular company they average or advertise zero percent but that was only if they listed and sold it now if they listed it and a different buyer's agent came in and then, then they had then they exactly. had to pay the full six percent so right odds are you're going to be paying that commission anyway. So it, you're paying like a it somewhere. Generator. The, the right. thing that I tell people is you're paying it somewhere, whether you're paying it in the actual fees or you're paying it in the loss of value of the loss of advertising and the lower price by a weaker negotiator. I mean, if, if you look historically over time, our company outperforms the market. And we have some times where we could say, hey, look, you know, we got you 3% above asking. We deserve a raise. You know, like, you know, our stats and our performance over time speak for themselves. The reviews, the billion dollars of real estate sold, all those things speak for themselves. But the reality is that uh, it takes a long time to build that. It takes a long time to become an expert in something. And there are people showing up right now that the, the only um, the only tool they have in their shed is we can just do it cheap. And, and you get what you pay for. You're going to get uh, you know worse marketing. You're going to get worse exposure. You're going to get a uh, more inexperienced negotiator. And, and all those things lead to less money in your pocket. You're going to get a lower price for the sale of your home. People say, oh, I'll save a point or two in commission. And they think that they actually did something. But then when I look at it, it's like, man, I could have sold your house for $20,000 more. You went with the first offer in four days. You could have got a bid more. You could have bid these people up. But you had an inexperienced, weak negotiator that, that was just doing it for free. So they didn't really care. They didn't have that vested interest to drive the price up. When you have somebody that's doing it that isn't doing it for free, they have the same vested interest as you. The higher the price goes, the more they make too. So it, it really is a flawed model. It, and it's a model that works well in a, in a market that shifts uh, to, to a heavy, heavy, heavy seller's market when the market's super hot. We're going away from that market now, which is why I think sellers need to be really cautious about thinking that that's the right path. Um, you know, unfortunately, it's not the right path anymore. Just maybe it was a good path for you a year or two ago, but now the market's starting to shift. You need somebody that's going to give you maximum exposure. You need somebody that's got a vested interest that's on your side, that's mutual, mutually aligned with you in the sale of your house, not some other side deal where, hey, we, we can do well on this if we get the mortgage, if we get this, or if we get that. You need somebody that says, you know, I'm going to do everything in my power to get your house sold. Not just, you know, not just sold, but sold for the best price. Have you guys ever heard, um, you know, a seller that maybe their house didn't sell and they went with a company like that? Or oh, someone that was yeah. charging a lot less it and happens say, all the time. well, my last company wasn't charging me anything. Yeah. You know, your house well, didn't sell. So exactly. They, yeah, they, they were, they were still, charging, yeah, right. So, exactly. so like we, we see it happen. I mean, we've sold, you know, hundreds, if not thousands of homes that were listed with other agents. And in, in, many times those agents had different fee structures or different business models. Sometimes they were the free companies. Sometimes they did it for less, and, and the consumer would come in and say, well, they were doing it for a less commission, will you match it? Well, they really weren't doing it for any commission because they didn't sell your freaking house. Like, they, they were zero, you know? Right. Like, they, what they were charging is irrelevant because they didn't get the job done, you know? And, and so um, we definitely face that a lot. Well, and that, that's what's hard is they, you know, you're competing against that, and you're wanting to sell these people's house. I mean, you're wanting to earn their business. You're wanting to do whatever you can for these people, especially as the market turns. But, you know, a lot of people, it takes them a long time for their thoughts to come around to a changing market and a lot of people are stuck on the last agent I list with did it for X and the last agent I did you know they were gonna do X Y and Z and they charged me this well that's the thing is you did not sell did they really do that I can guarantee you they probably didn't because they sold one house last year yeah whereas you know we're gonna end up the year seven or eight hundred homes so there's a difference and you know, you don't pay anything unless your home sells. So we're only here because your home didn't sell. Right, and we're getting paid because of your home sale, not because of some other extra thing that's got to happen. Those extra things that you put on people like, oh, we're going to do it for this because if, if we can get, a, you know, the mortgage or this or that, you're, you're, you're attempting to put extra pressures on those transactions, and it can cause them not to go through. It can cause them to fail. Um, and another thing that I'll tell you, I think, you know, kind of going back to the, you know, the, the shift in the market and, and experience and, and all those things that we bring to the table that aren't brought by some of these other companies, you know, find a friend out there that's in the real estate business, you know, and, and that, that's maybe a solo agent or, or obviously not one with my company 
And, and I bet money there's a lot of fear and uncertainty going on in their mind right now. There's a lot of people getting out of the business. The shift, you know, there, there's builder reps applying for jobs with us because they know we have a massive lead generation marketing system. Um, you know, the heyday and the, the you know, sunshine and rainbows of our real estate market, you know, really have passed. And that doesn't mean it's crashing. It's just shifting. We're going to see some changes in our market. And, you know, when changes happen, uh, consumers sometimes take a while to notice them. And, and I'm attempted to educate you now to start noticing them now because the more people that go out and hire the wrong agent, uh, you know, the more equity they lose, the, the more it hurts the market, the more it hurts them. And then, uh, you know, there's plenty of times where we come in to pick up the pieces, where we come in after two or three agents have been hired to sell a house and failed. And, and a lot of times it isn't even the price. It's the marketing, it's the strategy, it's the exposure. You know, certainly there are times when it's the price or the negotiator or whatever it is, but uh, there, there's definitely some uh, confusion out there. And I just want to make sure that, you know, we, we continue to educate people, let them know, you look, you get what you pay for. Um, you know, if, if someone's willing to do, uh, you know, say, sell the most expensive asset you're ever, you know, going to own, and they're doing it for free, what kind of vested interest do they have? I mean, do you really have, I mean, think about it. If you're getting brain surgery tomorrow, are you calling up the guy that's doing it for free? No, you're not. I mean, it's the most I expensive thing not. you're ever going to sell. You know, your brain, it's kind of an expensive thing. This is, you know, you, you know, you're, you're, you shouldn't be, you shouldn't, you know, you should be going to the person that's going to get you the, the best service, get you the best chance at selling your house, put the most money in your pocket because, you know, not all realtors are created equal. Just because one charges one and another charges something different. If, if the one that's charging you more puts more money in your pocket, then you won. You, you know, you, you won that, you know, congratulations. So anyway, we're going to be back. We're going to wrap up with the, uh, our last segment, um, here on the Duncan Duo Show, when we aren't when we aren't on the air, make sure to follow our socials. We are at the Duncan Duo Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, and YouTube. And check out theduncanduo.com. Get your free home value estimate. Get an instant cash offer from your home, or apply for our guaranteed home sale program. And we'll be back after a quick break.